It's time for an Easter themed You Can Draw This video. In this tutorial, we will create this cute little bunny. This is a super easy tutorial and you don't need any experience with Procreate or with drawing. I will guide you through every single step. And we'll be using some brushes from the treasure chest. So if you don't have the treasure chest yet, then go to freefromflow.com to get all the freebies. And as always, don't forget to share your work once you have followed the tutorial. Share it on Instagram, tag me in the image so that I will be able to find it. Let's take a moment to appreciate these tutorial results. And let's get started. First of all, the canvas is 2300 pixels by 3000 pixels and the color profile is set to sRGB. I have created a color palette for you which you can download through the link in the description. It's totally free. First thing we'll do is go to the layer menu and click background color. And we will select this nice bright blue. Then we'll start working on layer one. And for our brush, we will use the round chalk in the treasure chest brush set. And for the color, we will use this yellow, this bottom left color. And the opacity is set to 100% and let's go for a size of 30%. And the first thing we'll do is create an oval. Just draw an oval like this, hold your pen in place. And then you can go to edit shape here at the top. And you can move these handles around a bit to resize it. I think something like this is nice. And then we'll click the brush again and we are going to fill it. We're going to fill it by hand because I like that nice chalky texture. So just fill it, fill it, go along the edges and keep that nice chalky texture intact. Because that will give some nice character to our drawing. And of course it's super relaxing to just color your circle. And you don't have to do it very, very tidy. You can leave some, some little gaps so that we can see that texture. Just gonna go over this edge a little bit more. And now we are going to the selection tool, that's the S shape ribbon, and set it to freehand. And now we are going to start here at the top, go down diagonally, and then up again. And we'll make this zigzag line from the left all the way to the right. Going up again, then down, and then you can go all the way up and go around back to that little circle and click it. And now you can swipe with three fingers to remove that top part of our egg. And of course, you can use the brush. You can make it a little bit smaller. Let's go for 13%. And you can go over these edges and refine them a bit. Maybe you want to change them a bit. And it's nice to give it that textured edge because that selection tool it leaves a very crisp edge we don't want that we want our nice chalky texture so just go over the edges refine them a bit oh and if you want to make more easter themed art then be sure to check my patreon page and in case you need to remove parts then you can use the eraser and if you want to set the eraser to the round chalk as well, all you need to do is click the eraser and hold it. And now it is switched to the round chalk. So when you erase, you still get that nice chalky texture. And you can switch back and forth to refine your egg. Now we will create more egg. We'll make a new layer. We'll go to the layer menu, click the plus and drag this layer underneath our layer one. And for the color, we will pick this third color in the color palette. And let's make another zigzag line. This time we'll just use the brush and color it in. Let's make the brush a little bit smaller. We'll go for 6% because that will make it easier to make these pointy shapes. 
just a zigzag line behind our first zigzag line. And you can just color it in by hand so we have that nice chalky texture. We'll zigzag up here. And color it in by hand. Next we'll create a new layer. We'll go to the layer menu again and then click layer one and then the plus for a new layer. And this time we'll pick this first color here in the color palette. And we are going to make our bunny. Let's make our brush a little bit bigger. Let's go for 30% for instance. And we are going to make an oval. Just making these rounded shapes and then fill it in. And of course you could use the quick shape tool to make an oval, but I don't want it to be too perfect. It can be a little bit wobbly and I like to color it in by hand, giving it that nice chalky texture. And of course you can go over the edges and refine those a little bit. Just make sure you don't fill every gap, but leave some spots to keep that texture visible. And let's give him two little ears. I'll make the brush a little bit smaller again for that. Let's go for 12%. And we'll make triangular shapes, but rounded triangular shapes on top of its head. And again, just color it by hand and another rounded shape, a rounded triangle here. Not too big, two cute little ears. And let's create two little paws. One over here, over the edge. Just a rounded, a bit like an egg, egg shape. And let's place one over here. This is more like a rounded rectangle. It doesn't have a thumb, but you actually do. And you can click it. Be sure to pick the one pointing up if you are enjoying this tutorial. But of course we don't want its head to just float around. We want to give it a neck. And we'll do that on top of layer two, but behind layer one. So let's click the plus for a new layer. And let's create a little neck. Just make like a rectangle, rectangular shape. And he has this thin little neck. And to separate its neck from its head, well not really separate it, but well, you know what I mean? Let's click layer four and set it to alpha lock. So we will only be able to paint on that layer and we will use this second layer over here, the second color I mean, first. And let's go over that little neck and add some shadow. And then we'll pick that darker gray, that third color in the color palette, and make a little edge here underneath its head. So that we can see that its head is separate from its neck and that is not one big blob shape. All right, now let's go back to its head and let's set that to alpha lock as well. I want to add a little bit of a shadow and light there as well. We'll use that second color again. And let's make the brush a little bit bigger, 23%. And let's go along this edge to add a little bit of a shadow edge. And here around its ear as well, the left one and the right one, just along that edge. I don't want to add some light as well. We'll use that fourth color over here to do that. We'll add a little bit of a blue light around the edge. You can barely see it, but it's there. It's a slight touch. Let's do it for the paws as well. 
And let's add a little bit of that shadow for the paws as well. Let's go for the second color. And let's add a slight edge of shadow. Now for the fun part, let's give it eyes. Let's give it eyes. Let's use this color over here, that light blue. And let's make our brush a little bit bigger. 35% and before we start creating these eyes, let's make a new layer. So the eyes will be on a separate layer. And now let's make a big round blue eye. Make it nice and big. Put the other one right next to it. That's the usual place. Like that, and now let's set this layer to alpha lock. So we will only be able to paint on the on these shapes that we just created. And now we'll pick that darker blue over here. And we'll darken the top area of that blue circle that we just created. And we'll leave that bottom part, we'll leave that light. We'll do it for both circles. And now we can turn alpha lock back off and we are going to pick this dark color over here and we are going to make the pupils. So again, make a round shape. Slowly make it bigger. And make one with the same size on the other eye. It would look weird if one was big and one was very small. So keep an eye on that. Now let's pick pure white. You can do that by going to the color circle and then double tapping here in this corner to pick pure white. Let's make the brush a bit smaller, 12%. And let's add these little highlights. A little one over here and one over here in the same spot. And then a bit more a transparent one just below like that. Now we will go back to that head layer, layer three, and we are going to pick this grayish color, that second color over here. And we are going to create a little bit of a darker edge just around these eyes. Just go along that edge. And it'll create a little bit more depth. And we'll do the same for this eye. And I'll only go over the top part, but I'll leave that lower part, I'll leave that alone. Now let's switch to the pinks. We'll pick this pink over here. That's the sixth color in the color palette. And let's give it to rosy cheeks. We'll make rounded shapes here just below the eye. And on this side as well. And we'll create the insides of the ears. Again, we'll make rounded triangles, but a little bit smaller than the ears are. And one over here that's a little bit smaller. And I will switch to that darker pink over here. And we'll make the brush a little bit smaller. Let's say 5% and darken up this edge just a little bit. Now let's give it a little nose and a mouth. We'll go to the fine liner brush, which is also part of the treasure chest. And we'll pick this dark color over here again. I have the opacity of the brush set to 100%. And let's go for 20% in size and let's make a nose first. Let's make a rounded triangular shape right between the eyes, but a little bit lower, of course. Now we'll make the brush a little bit smaller. 
let's say 8%, and draw a line down from its nose, and then a little curved line for its mouth. Now to add some whiskers, we need to turn off alpha lock on this layer. Click the layer, turn off alpha lock, and for the color, let's pick this fifth color in the color palette over here, and let's give it three whiskers on each side. Trying to make nice, quick, flowing motions. Now we have a happy little bunny. Let's work on the egg some more. First, we'll go to this layer two. We'll click it and turn on alpha lock. And for the color, we will pick this very dark one over here, that fourth color. And for the brush, we will go back to the round chalk brush. Let's make it a little bit bigger, 20%. And let's darken this area behind the bunny. I'm just making these vertical strokes going over that area behind him or her. Not sure if it's a boy or a girl. And we'll just add a little bit of a shadow there. And now let's add some volume to the front part. We'll go to layer one and again, select alpha lock. So we will only be able to paint on that shape that we have here. Let's make the brush nice and big, 40%. And let's pick this orangey color, that second color in the color palette. And let's add some orange colors to this left side. And let's make the brush even bigger. Let's go for 80%. And we'll just darken this left side. Because we are imagining that the light is coming from this direction. That's why these highlights on the eyes are on this side as well. So this side will be a bit darker. And we'll also want some shadow underneath the paws. Let's go to 30% in size and add a little bit of a shadow underneath these bunny paws. And to add more texture to that egg, you can also use the Is It Grunge brush, which is also in the treasure chest brush set. The opacity is at 100% and the size is at 30%. And you can go over this area and add this texture, which combines nicely with the chalk texture. And you can switch between colors. You can also pick this third one. Go over that area to add that texture. And if it's starting to get too dark, you can just switch back to the yellow and go over with the yellow to lighten some areas up again. All right, now let's go back to that round chalk brush. There it is, and let's pick that darkest color. Let's make the brush a bit smaller, 14%. And we'll add a little bit of a shadow here at the bottom. That's the darkest area. And I also want to do that around these edges. Add a little bit of a shadow on the left sides because the light is hitting here so this will be a light and this side will be a bit darker so only on these sides add a darker edge on the other side we'll add a lighter edge we'll use this color for that the fifth color and let's add a very light edge it gives a little bit of volume to that egg and this side. Light is also hitting here, so let's lighten up that as well. Let's grab, and let's just, let's set it to 70% in size. And let's add a little bit of light here. Right where that light is hitting.
Next, I would like to add some cracks to the floor, some eggshells. Let's make a new layer for that. Let's click the plus for a new layer. And let's pick that yellow. Let's make the brush a bit smaller, 15%. And let's add some eggshells. Because this bunny just came out of its egg. We all know how bunnies are born. Easter bunnies, I mean. So some eggshells. Just draw some triangular shapes and fill them in by hand. They don't have to be super tidy. He's fresh out of its egg, ready to take on the world. Let's set this layer to alpha lock. Click the layer, set it to alpha lock. And then pick this second color and we'll add a little bit of a shadow. So we'll make a smaller triangle here on top. But we want to leave a little bit of a yellow edge. So we'll kind of create the same shape again, but a little bit smaller. Then let's add a drop shadow. We'll do that on a layer below the other. So we'll click the plus for a new layer and then hold and drag it underneath all the others. And then we'll pick this third color over here. And let's add a little bit of a shadow underneath our egg. You know, let's make the brush a little bit bigger, 25%. And add a drop shadow underneath. I'm making horizontal strokes, so don't go like crisscross. And add a shadow underneath these little shells. And here on the left side as well, just a little shadow. And then we'll switch to that darker color, the fourth color over here, and we'll darken the shadow underneath the egg a little bit, where it's closest to the egg. As a final touch, I would like to add a little pattern to our background. Let's create a new layer for that. So let's click the plus again. And for the color, let's pick this second color over here. We're still using the round chalk. And let's make the brush a little bit bigger. Let's say 50%, let me check. Yeah, that's nice. And now we are just going to make some random dots on our background. That'll just give our illustration a little bit extra and for some dots, press hard, and for some, press lightly. If you're using a pressure sensitive pen, that is. So some dots will become more opaque, and some are a bit more transparent. Just place them randomly, creating a nice pattern for our background. It just gives a little bit extra to our illustration. Just a few more till we are here at the bottom. I like it. I love my little bunny and I hope you love your bunny as well. I hope you enjoyed following this tutorial. If you did, then don't be shy and leave a little comment in the comment section. I want to thank you for watching and I will see you next time for the next You Can Draw This video tutorial.